Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is my reaction to the news of our new management team, and I'm gonna go through it all. But firstly, before I begin, I want you guys to know that we are, I think it's 125 away from reaching that big 4,000. So if you haven't, please hit that subscribe button now. Uh, we're going to reach that before 2019. I think we'll reach it by the end of the week. If you guys are watching, haven't subscribed, please do so now. And if you like our videos, don't forget to drop a like. Right, so we'll get straight into it. Uh, firstly, let's not forget that Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane did get us to the Euros, okay? And they were one game away from getting us to the World Cup. So we can't forget what they achieved for us as well, to be fair. But within the last year, our performance has been abysmal. And I think every fan will admit that. I think players, even players in the media, ex-players, have come out and said it. And it was just getting to a stage where a fresh change was needed. And... Um, that's that's just kind of, I think, what we got. I mean, a lot of people were calling for Mick McCarthy not to get the job, but a lot of people were calling for Stephen Kenny to get the job a lot, and vice versa. But, personally, I'm happy with the news. There seems to be a fresh, new, positive vibe around the area. I was in the press conferences the other day. I even managed all four men that are involved. Um, the only one I probably didn't get a chance to speak with, and who I probably would have liked it, spoke to the most, was Robbie Keane. But, I mean, look, we're getting Mick McCarthy in. He knows the structure. He knows a lot of those players from playing, from being in and around England, managing in and around England. I'm not saying he's going to be Pep Guardiola, but it's it's something, it's, it's fresh change that's going in there, and he's bringing in fresh, you know, fresh coaches and stuff like that in with him. So it's, for the majority of, like, five years... They've had Roy Keane and Matt O'Neill. So it'll be interesting to see. It's just a shame that we don't have a friendly coming up before March so we can kind of integrate players or he can kind of get in. Now, he did speak about Declan Rice in the press conference and he did say that he was going to speak to him in December. And, you know, he hasn't made a decision yet regarding Declan Rice. He hasn't made a decision um, about his future. And he just told him to go and concentrate on his football, which I think a lot of us need to almost respect that at the moment. I know people will say, well, he needs to, you know... He needs to realise people would die to wear the green shirt. I get that. And I'm totally on board with that. But at the same time, we don't know what's going on where he's been told in his own personal life. I know he's a footballer, but he does have a life and he does have a human side of things. And sometimes as fans, we forget that. So I think it's about time we acknowledge that. And look, when he comes or stays now, I, I don't really care because I just want to get on with the task ahead, which is let's get ourselves to Euro 2020. And look, Mick... From I don't know if you've seen it, but I did uh, interview him the other day, and and I said to him, I said, do you think he'll bring the glory days back? Yes, he said. But people are like, oh well, what if he does well and Stephen Kenny left? He said in the press conference that if uh, the last time after the tournament he should he felt he should have walked, which was two thousand and two, he felt he should have walked. Then he feels like after a tournament, it's hard to get the players going again. So he thinks that it's best when his player our managers leave after a tournament. So. For everyone who's going on about, you know, oh, well, what if he does well, this, that, he's already answered that question. I think people fell on deaf ears about it. He's, he's answered the question. He's going to go no matter what. Whether we get there or we don't get there, he's going to go because he doesn't want to stay on after tournament. So basically, he's just in charge for either the qualifiers or the qualifiers to and, and the Euros, either or, whatever happens. But look, I just feel feel like it's, you know... It's a way forward. Rather than, like, what would you rather? You, you, you bitch and moan about Mick McCarthy coming in, but would you rather have Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane there? I don't think you would. And if you if you do, you obviously didn't watch the last handful of games. So that's just my take on, on, on those things. I spoke to Rude Doctor, who's the performance director, high performance director for the FAI. And, you know, I was in that man's presence for five minutes alone. Um, before we, we even interviewed and we were speaking to him and it was interesting to hear his his vision for the future his thoughts and if you look at an underage setup he's done a very good job since he's come in he's been in there since 2013 I believe and for me you look at our underage teams they're all doing well right up until probably under 21s till recently that might change now with Stephen Kenny involved which I'll get to him in a little bit but 
like he he explained Robbie Keane's role, so Robbie would be not only helping out with the senior team, but he would be helping out at all underage levels. So it'll be a case of Robbie will be going to games, whether it's in the League of Ireland or whether he's going to tournaments with our underage teams. And let's not forget that we do have a lot of former underage, our former internationals coaching our underage teams. When you look at there's Andy Reid, there's um, Richie Dunn. Uh, there was Keith Andrews as well. I'm not too sure if he is anymore, but there's just three names just off the top of my head, and you know, didn't have bad careers. Now let's let's be honest. Probably Richie Dunn and Robbie Keane probably at the top of the ladder, but I mean Andy Reid was one of our best players as well. Uh, but it's nice to see the integration of our former players being being blooded in and bringing their experiences rather than having just you know someone who doesn't have a lot of experience and someone who hasn't made it in the Premier League because those lads. Let's face it, have done well out of their careers, especially Robbie and Richie. But look, moving on from that, uh, I think I think it's it's a positive move. But uh, Terry Connor again, Mick McCarthy says he trusts him with his with his, the keys to his house. So look, I just I I don't know a lot about Terry. I know he's he's been assistant uh, here and there. I know that. Uh, no, just uh, like. I'm reading a lot of stuff online. I'm just seeing all the negativity, all this Delaney out stuff. I get that. And then people are having a go at me saying that I, I'm, I'm a brown noser because I interviewed him. Well, if you check off the ball and check RTE, all those questions that you wanted asked were already asked before I got a chance because I was the last of the line to John Delaney. So you want to have a pop at me for not repeating what everyone else has said. If you want to go and check off the ball's channel, you can check it out and, and see there for yourselves. It's nothing to do with me. Uh, but that's all I have to say about that. I mean, you'd, you'd want to be crawling under a rock to not see what's been going on the last while with all the former players and pundits uh, coming out and, and criticising the FAO, which is, why do you need me to go into detail and do it as well? I just don't see the point in that. I, I really I really don't. Like, Change does need to happen, but it's not going to happen by screaming, roaring, and going into press conferences and, and roaring at people and asking them questions that have already been asked. So that's that's just a, a couple of people who have been kind of shouting at me online and telling me that I'm brown nosing the FAI, this, that, and the other, whatever. But moving back to things, uh, Robbie Keane, I think, is a great appointment as well. Brings a lot of um, experience in there. And... You know, Stephen Kenny, lastly, the most decorated manager in the League of Ireland. Hands down. I mean, look at the job he's done with Dundalk. Look at the players. The players love playing for him. Look at the the, the outcry from, from the town of Dundalk itself. All the fans. You know, they're treating it like a death in the family. Not a, not a death like um, Fernando Nuno. La Fuente, though, let's be honest, by Mark FC. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out online. But uh, now they are treating it like a, a death in the family. And yeah, it's. it's. I think it's, I think it's a great appointment. A lot of people were calling for it. I think it's great for the league. I think it's great. You know, I don't think people will get overlooked as much. I think a lot of people in the League of Ireland will be happy. He'll be overseeing a lot of that. I think a lot of youngsters that are playing League of Ireland will get a lot more game time for, say, under-21s or whatever. He listed a bunch of players' names that he, he's already kept an eye on. His, his attention to detail was uh, something that grasped me in the press conference, is that he knew so much about so many players already, and he hasn't, he's only been in the job two days at that time he was. So I'm looking at it, and I really, like, I think he brings a lot to the table. I think he... His, as I said, his attention to detail, his nous, and uh, he, he seems like he's not afraid to, to bring a style of play that he brought from Dundalk into the team. Well, well I can't say that till, till he kicks the ball, but that's what he told me. And again, I interviewed him, and he was a lovely man. Seems to seems to be chomping at the bit. Seems confident, and seems very confident in his own ability, which I think is is something that needs to be really highlighted here. Is that he didn't go into that room and just be told, oh, yeah, you're going to be under-21 manager, and just be like, oh, yeah, grand. He made sure to make his case to be the national manager. 
when Mick McCarthy's done. Let's not let's not let's not beat around the bush. That's that's what happened. So I think it's about time all the naysayers and everyone that's been negative about this, let's just get behind the team. Because what's done is done. What's literally what's done is done. So I don't see why we're we're being negative. We want, let's move on. Let's get behind the team. Support the team. We have a new fresh wave of positivity from some parts of the fans. So for me, I'm trying to be positive, as usual, about this appointment. And I, and I am positive about it, to be honest. I, I, like, I felt, even the press conference the first day, going in and, you know, it just didn't feel like, questions felt like they could be open to the management team. Like you could ask, you could ask a question, and I feel like you're going to get the head chewed off you, like you did with Martin O'Neill. And as I said, let's not take away the fact that Martin O'Neill, Martin O'Neill did. You know, credit where credit's due, and you know, I, 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 I can't really. I don't want to stick the boot in too much. He stayed on a little bit too long, and that's exactly what Mick McCarthy said about staying on too long after a tournament. If Martin O'Neill had probably left after the Denmark game, I don't think it would have been as bad for him. You know, he'll argue that players got, you know, there was an evolution of a team or whatever and stuff like that. Players were coming and going. So I think maybe Mick McCarthy made a good point of he oversaw a evolution of the team and the likes of Gary Breen, Robbie Keane, Damien Duff, Mark Kinsler, Matty Holland, ETC, um, Richie Dunn and that all came through the team so it might be the case of now it's going to be an evolution of players coming in you don't know until he's given the chance to, to bring in his own players he might like something he might he might be able to persuade Declan Royce to, to play for us so we're going into the new year with something fresh and something positive rather than something negative and something horrible which was happening before so I'd love to hear what you guys thoughts are in the comments a lot of people have asked for my thoughts on it so I've given my thoughts open and honest and as honest as I could but I am looking forward to the future and, you know, here's to March. But, like, if you do, and if you do have any issues, if you do have any problems, step into my office. <laughs> come in come in on the show. I'd be happy to have a conversation uh, on camera and hear your views as well. Uh, so, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Huge thank you to our sponsors, Halfway Cabs. Download our app if you haven't already. The link is in the bio. And have a great day. Come on, you boys in green. The place. I hope it is a positive announcement that I've...